गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम बैक टू यूट्यूब चैनल स्कूल क्विज डॉट कॉम एज यू नो माई नेम इज दानिश अग्रवाल एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद अवर चैप्टर दैट इज एटम दैट इज इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर वी हैव कवर्ड सो मैनी टॉपिक्स ऑफ चैप्टर इज मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर वी हैव कवर्ड दैट इज वट इज द प्योर ऑफ शांस वट इज द प्योर ऑफ शांस इज टाइप्स दैट इज वट आर एलिमेंट्स वट आर कंपाउंड्स एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दैट इज वट आर मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एंड metal loids we have also covered that is what are compounds and we have also covered that what is the mixture and its type and diff major differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture now we will discuss here very important topic that is difference between difference between compounds or mixtures which is very very important from the paper point of view so let's start that is chapter number 2 chapter number 2 that is is matter is matter around us is matter around us pure is matter around us pure so today we will discuss that is difference between difference difference between difference between mixtures different between mixtures and difference between mixtures and compounds we will discuss here today difference between mixture and compounds so first of all we will write that is that is what are what are compounds Com we will write one side that is compounds and on the other side that is mixtures that is mixtures so we have discussed that is what are compounds and what are mixtures so students that you can uh, make difference between them by yourself but if you try that if first of all you try by yourself pause my video and draw the difference by yourself so now we will discuss that is difference between compounds or mixture compounds or mixture so what is compound which are what are compounds what are compounds that is composed of it is composed of it is composed of two or more elements two or more elements in a in a fixed ratio two or more elements in a fixed ratio whereas what is a mixture it is a it is a composed of it is a composed of two or two or more elements two or more elements in not a not a fixed ratio not a fixed ratio or you can say that you can say that a variable variable composition variable composition so next point is next point is next point is elements combine chemically elements combine chemically to form a compound elements 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 combine combine chemically elements combine chemically to form a compound to form a compound for example h2 reacts with o2 to give water to give water they combine chemically they combine chemically to form a compound to form a compound whereas whereas chemical action does not take place chemical reaction does not take place in formation chemical reaction chemical reaction does not does not take place take place in formation of in formation of formation of mixture in formation of mixture in formation of mixture now we will discuss here third point third point now we will discuss here third point of difference between compound and mixture third point is third point is that is constituents constituents of compounds constituents of compounds cannot cannot be separated separated by by simple simple physical 
methods cannot be separated by simple physical methods or we can say that they can be separated by or we can say that they can be they can be separated by they can be separated by by they can be separated by they can be separated by chemical chemical or or electro electro chemical methods chemical or electrochemical methods whereas whereas mixtures constituents of constituents of mixtures mixtures they can be they can be separated by separated by by physical methods they can be separated by physical methods they can be separated by physical methods for example if we take an example of like water what if we want to separate it we have to provide electric current we have to provide electric current that it can decompose into hydrogen and oxygen for example if we take that sodium chloride so it will dissociate into na plus cl na plus cl so now we will discuss fourth major point fourth major point of difference between difference between compounds compounds or mixtures please note down your students on your notebooks note down fourth point is fourth point is fourth point is fourth point is a mixture third point is a mixture a mixture shows shows the properties of shows the properties of its its constituent a mixture shows the properties of its its constituent substance its constituent substance whereas whereas a mixture whereas a make a compound a compound does not does not show the show the properties does not show the properties of of its its constituent its constituent substances does not show the properties of its constituent substances for example for example if we take the example of if we take the example of like water example of water suppose hydrogen it is composed of two elements hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen as we know as we know that is hydrogen is a highly flammable gas is a highly flammable gas as we know hydrogen is a highly flammable gas which easily catches fire which easily catches fire whereas oxygen is what that is oxygen is oxygen gas is sporter of sporter of combustion sporter of sporter of sporter of combustion that is no burning can take place no burning can take place without the without the presence of presence of oxygen so we can see that is hydrogen is a highly flammable gas that is which catches fire very easily whereas oxygen is a oxygen is a sporter of combustion but but water is a water but water is totally different from the properties of hydrogen and oxygen that is hyd water extinguishes the fire water extinguishes the fire that is properties of water is entirely entirely different entirely different from its constituent particles from its constituent particles that is that is h2 gas and o2 gas that is by hydrogen and oxygen hydrogen and oxygen we will take here one example another another of compounds that is nacl nacl this composed of sodium and chlorine it is composed of sodium and 
chlorine as we know sodium is a sodium is a highly reactive metal and we know sodium is a highly reactive metal or we can say that highly reactive element highly reactive element that can catch its fire that can catch its fire very easily that can catch its fire very easily due to which due to which that we have to kept sodium in kerosene oil that we can kept sodium in kerosene oil that we can cut off the cut off the supply of air cut off the supply of air and as we know that is chlorine is a chlorine is a poisonous gas chlorine is a poisonous gas poisonous gas and and that is nacl that what is nacl nacl is a common salt nacl is a common salt that we can use daily that we can use daily in our in our food in our food so that we can see that the properties of the the compound is entirely different is entirely different from its constituent particles from its constituent particles just as if we take here example of example of like sand in water sand in water if we see that the properties that uh, it can also show the properties of sand and water it can also show the properties of sand and water so these are the major differences between difference between mixture and compound we have discussed four differences here that you can add one to two more differences also so if you uh, like we can add one difference more but in from the paper point of view that you can write just these four points and that's that will be the enough for your for your two to three marks answer for two to three marks answer we will discuss one point more one point more for your better understanding for your better understanding of the topic that is difference between compounds or mixture compounds or mixture fifth point is fifth point is considerable energy changes considerable considerable energy changes considerable energy changes changes takes place considerable energy changes takes place while the while the formation while the formation or while the formation or breakdown breakdown of a of a compound both breakdown of a compound or we in mixture we can say that no amount of no amount of energy changes no amount of energy changes energy changes takes place no amount of energy changes takes place so this is all about our today's topic that is difference between mixture and compounds mixture and compounds it is very very important topic that is difference between mixture and compound it uh, is very important from the paper point of view also so if you write like four points or four to five points that it will be enough for the two to three marks answer and it is very important that you should have that you should have a better understanding of the concepts that a better understanding of the concept we uh, we don't only have to focus on numbers we have to focus or understanding also if you if we have the understanding of the concept we will also automatically get numbers we will all we will automatically get numbers so first of all try to focus on the understanding of the concept understanding of the concept because understanding of the concept is must understanding of the concept is must so students this is all about our today's topic that is difference between mixture and compounds mixture and compounds so we will meet in our next video in our next video so this is all about our today's topic so thank you very much